There is fallout today after baseball star Roger Clemens was found not guilty on all six charges in the government's perjury case against him. Now, questions are now being raised about why the Justice Department spent an estimated two to three million dollars prosecuting the legendary pitcher. The charges stem from testimony Clemens gave in February 2008, telling a congressional committee that he'd never taken steroids or any performance enhancing drugs. Joining me now on Fire About It, sports writer Dave Zirin of edgeofsports.com. So Barry Bonds ended up with basically house arrest. Um, you've got the list goes on and on here, and people are wondering what's going on. What's the fascination with lawmakers and these sports stars? What do you think, Dave? Well, uh, I think it's because the least safe place to be in Washington is between a politician and a TV camera. I mean, this is the problem. And what's next? Investigations about whether or not George Clooney is using Botox? I mean, these are ridiculous wastes of money. I mean, you think about a typical public school. 250 full-time teachers could be hired for a public school for what was spent to try to put Roger Clemens behind bars for lying about steroids. And I'd be against it even if he was convicted. It's not that he got off on the charges. It's that... It it doesn't deal with the fundamental issue, which is how do you deal with performance-enhancing drugs in baseball? I mean, if you really want to deal with it, it's going to have to be collectively bargained. The government's going to have to be out of it. It's going to need to be between the union and the commissioner, and it's going to have to involve blood yeah. testing, or they're going to have to figure out a way to regulate the use of steroids because medical experts will tell you that the danger, the health dangers with steroids and performance-enhancing drugs is not use, but it's abuse. It's yeah. having no doctors. It's taking the in bathroom stalls. So they need to figure out an actual sane solution that doesn't involve the taxpayer's expense right. for these show trials. And millions of dollars. I mean, Lance Armstrong, a two-year multi-continent investigation. Uh, it was closed without any charges. So in at least these three high-profile instances, one, no charge with Armstrong and then two losses by any sport record. That's a bad <laughs> record in any game. It is just a, you know, and think about it like this, too. The conviction rate for the Justice Department is 94%. And I think that's part of it, too, is that we've become a society where celebrities have become like these corporations with legs. Now, Mitt Romney calls that his base, corporations with legs. But but other than that, sorry, bad joke. But but other than <laughs> that, what, what we're dealing with here is people trying to get famous off of these folks who are in the limelight and have and have some sort of fame. So you and don't so you believe get prosecutors. that there's any sincere no. thought behind it. I mean, you've got just today, uh, John McCain and Harry Reid co-introduced legislation that would create a United States Boxing Commission. I used to work in the world of boxing. I know the corruption. Yes. We all know what's going on there. But do we need two lawmakers with all of the issues that are going on right now? Granted, Harry Reid, based in Nevada, we get the, the location there. But nevertheless, less do they need to be involved in this? Once again, I, I don't understand how conservatives can think that big government is the source of all ills, except when it comes to boxing and surveilling Muslims. But other than that, we want government uh, completely out of our lives. The big issue with this is I read the legislation. It doesn't sound like either Senators McCain or Reid have actually talked to any boxers. I talk yeah. to boxers all the time. And what they say to me they want is they want a guarantee of health care in boxing contracts. Right now, there is no guarantee that you will have health care after a boxing match. That's unbelievable. Well, well, at least we get one thing out of it, bipartisan support. You've got a Republican and a Democrat there. So they can at least get along on one thing. Reed and McCain agree that there needs to be legislation involved or some kind of oversight with boxing. But the larger picture here, at least for a lot of people, Dave, is the amount of money that yes. was involved, that was put into these prosecutions. But with all of that said, you have uh, Congress looking at, for example, concussions with young people. So the, the counter would be maybe that is a worthier cause to examine and especially with all of the recent stories uh, that have been reported as it relates to kids playing football. Well, once again, though, it's like if government can do things like pressure the NFL to actually pay for a team of independent neurologists mm. to find out some actual medical facts that aren't tainted about concussions and the risk factors of playing football, that's a good thing. Right. But when it starts getting pushed to the Justice Department and trials, like what if they decide to prosecute Roger Goodell, the commissioner of the NFL, yeah. because saying that he withheld evidence, then you're talking yeah. about years of legal bills, right, right. millions of dollars during a time yeah. where we're supposed to be yeah. tightening belts yeah. across the line. And real quick, your article today was on Roger Clinton. Should he get in the Hall of Fame, yes or no? 
Oh, absolutely. I mean, there, there's there's an old joke I got to tell you about the person who well, lives the I perfect said real life. Quick. I said oh, real, real quick. quick. Okay, real quick. Yes, he belongs okay. in the Hall of Fame. Barry 350 Bonds, wins. yes or no? There you go. Barry Bonds, absolutely. Yes or no. Okay, done. Proved it on the field of play. It was I'll a good call joke. I'll you later. Darren. You can finish later. Thank you very much, Dave. Great pleasure. Hot topic. Thank you.